Now the game the game started. That's fine. All right. He's going. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you can hear us. We'd like to. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you can hear us. We hope you can hear us. But welcome to Wilson Field. We had a couple technical difficulties, things okay. that we couldn't control. But we hope you're with us right now, and we welcome you. Palatine versus Main South. Main South is 1-1 coming into this. I'm Jimmy Johnston. Matias Salemi. Jimmy, I'm going to give it to you like this. There's one of two uh, things to be doing today. Option one, watching this stream. Option two, being here at Wilson Field. Jimmy, what are you thinking? Again, I think it's going to be a testament of a game. The Hogs are 1-1 one one coming into this. A loss in the first game yeah. to Brother Rice. A win in the second game to Warren. What's going to happen? We're going to see a strong defense. We're going to see an even stronger offense led by Constantine Coins tonight in the absence of Jack DeFilippis. And we're going to see a Hawk victory at the end of the night. I can promise you that. Bunch of young guys are going to be stepping up today. Absolutely. Let's take it over to the field. Hawks second and five at their own 47. Again, Constantine Coins. Filling in for Jack DeFilippis. Constantine in the five wide package. Coins, no good. Pass intended for number 17. Doug Sernell. Something about Doug Sernell, I'll tell you. He was not a starter last year. He worked over, uh, you know, on the off season. I can tell you, being his friend, being in the weight room, showing up to practice, putting in the time. Now he's starting, now he's making plays. It's an outstanding thing to watch. Third and five for the Hawks. DeLumo in the backfield. That's a keeper. Coins keeps it. He's going to get a first, first down. down. And that's the thing about Coins, Jimmy. Jimmy is one of those guys, Jimmy. Coins, Constantine, is one of those guys that's going to get the first down. You know, he's averaging right now nine and a half yards per carry. According to my calculations, that's about a first down every time he's running the ball. Shout out my teacher. Shout out, who's your teacher? Mr. Lavarado. Mr. Lavarado, the former basketball coach. He is here this evening. It's a pass to DeLumo. DeLumo, he's going to get a gain of about five. And if you're wondering the name DeLumo is familiar, DeLumo has a brother named Joey DeLumo who played at Maine South, running back, uh, and now is at Tufts University. So the DeLumo family is one of those families at Maine South that that name has hold here. Second and four for the Hawks. Constantine, pass, no good. Oh, I Whoa. lied to you, Whoa. I lied to you, cut. That is my catch by Nick Wong for a first down. Wow. 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 Ball was up. He went down. He found it when it's on its way down. Yeah. Incredible. First and 10 at the Palatine 29. That was Nick Wong on the catch. Coins finds Evan Augusto. Evan gets one off, gets two off. Oh, gets Gonna get a gain of yards. There has up. not been. Uh, it's a lie. That's a lie. I was about to say there hasn't been a, a drive where they haven't gotten that, but that's. <laughs> The theme for today is everything's a little bit all over the place, but we're going to keep going, right? Keep the train on the tracks. Train on the tracks. Now, again, they're one and one. Yeah. Both teams. One team will lose. One, one team, team will have a two by the end of the night, at the end of their record. That's coins to Julian Turner. Julian Turner. First season as a Hawk. He's going to get pushed out of bounds towards the 12. You know, Julian Turner's the type of player where, you know, the fa famous Tom Hanks movie, Catch Me If You Can, and in that movie, Tom Hanks' character evades tax. Instead of evading tax, Julian evades defenders. Ta evades tackles. Tackles, yeah. DeLumo on the run. Oh, DeLumo still on his, feet. on his feet. He's DeLumo. got away to the end zone. That's a push, push, and down that's for the Hawks. push down for the Hawks. Wow. 
Yeah. What an incredible wow. play as the Hawks take an early lead. Early something lead. that they needed, something that they found. Set the precedent for the rest of the game. You know, coming down, driving, getting a touchdown, that's big, real big. And that's the theme of this Maine South offense run, whether it's Constantine or DeLumo or Anthony Capetius, they're a running team this year. That's even tough up. on the kick. Kick is good. And I bring up the running team. You know, we're a shorter main south team this year, but don't doubt us. Don't doubt us. One thing to note tonight is the outstanding student section. Something that is a marquee of Maine South athletics. Shout out CC Flicks on Instagram, who's going to be taking pictures all season yeah. of the fans, yes, us, yes. the players. And for those who don't know, who is CC Flex? CC Flex is Christian Correa. Good friend of ours. Outstanding photographer. Outstanding. Not only does the kid have that dog in him, he's got a high potential. You know, Jimmy, you may be wondering, or the people at home might be wondering, Jack D. Philippus, he's the senior, why isn't he playing? The reason is, you know, you said it earlier, first game, got banged up a little bit, but he should be back later on in the season. That's correct. An awful, uh, I'm gonna call it a tragedy, an awful tragedy that occurred on the field. Yeah, first uh, game, first senior game. year. Yeah, top. He's one of those guys that was really looking forward to this and works really hard day in and day out. Yeah. An all-around great guy. Ryder Butterfield with the kick. Kick us up. Whoa, what a boot. It's a missile. Player to look out for on the main south defense is number 95, Jacob Kieda. Strong man. First and ten for the Palatine Pirates. Quarterback. Oh! Clark Simpson's over there. He's celebrating. I don't know if that was a good thing or, a, you know, if it didn't work out. Looks like it is going to be second down. You know, Jacob Kiet is one of those guys where he's going to lay a body in you, and you're going to be feeling that for a while. Best part is he won't care. No. He won't care. He's going to put you in the dirt and then move on to the next play. Yeah. Run. I think that is number seven, Dominic Ball. Someone to look after, after Jalen Williams, one of their better players. Oh. Yeah, young guy. You know, the Palatine Pirates are a young team. They're a young team. So, you know, maybe not right now they're the good, but they will be good in a couple of years. They'll definitely be a team to look out for in the 8A. Yeah, again, Jalen Williams, only a junior. Passes up, no good, ball goes out of bounds. Pass intended for number seven on the Pirates. You know, I brought up the name Dominic Ball. Dominic Ball is actually committed to the University of Akron, not only on a football scholarship, but track scholarship as well. So he really shows a high display of speed. Uh, dual sport athlete. Love to see it. Second and 10 at the Palatine 31. To ball. Not gonna get the first down. You might be asking yourself, why am I seeing number 12 on offense and defense? Well, let me tell you, that's Evan Augusto. 
EA, as the team likes to call him. Now, Evan is a special type of person because he does go both ways on the field, offense and defense, a lot like his number doppelganger, a player at Colorado, Travis Hunter. And just like how Deion Sanders said it, Evan Augusto is him. Questions coming from the Palatine side. They don't know what their coaches are calling. There's confusion, 10 seconds remaining. Gotta make a play. That means our student section's loud. Wilson Good enough Field for us. Good enough for place. us. To ball again. He's gonna get a first down, not by many though. To all our older viewers, Matias, what's him? Him? How would you explain what him is, Jimmy? Him in, in many ways is obviously a compliment. It's saying that he he's the guy. You know, he's he's the guy. He's the, the man. He's the dude. He's the man. He knows what's going on. He's a master of his craft, or at least he's outstanding at it. It's someone to look at it. If you call a guy him, you know, it's the right thing. <laughs> Look out for number 19, Michael Mizwicki here. Mizwicki, watching, guard him. Gonna pass, not gonna get many yards. Mike actually get a loss of yards. Looks to be a loss of two yards for the Pirates. I saw 66, Tommy Bezad get in there. That kid is the heart and soul of the defense. You know, he's not the biggest guy, but he's definitely the most yeah. guy that brings the best energy on that team. Yeah, and size does not matter. Jalen Williams, 6'6", 265 pounds. Second and nine for the Palatine Pirates. Pass. Brandon Owens tracking him down, number two. Gonna get stopped. Evan Augusto on the top of the dog pile. Something I will say, compare the Pirates defense, or excuse me, the Pirates offense to the Hawks offense. Hawks move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. It wasn't a gain of a couple yards, it was a gain of multiple yards. Palatine looks to be playing a different game, whether they're trying to do that or not. They're surviving in advance. Hawks were put the ball in the end zone fast as possible. Get ahead, stay ahead. Yeah, I meant the offense that Healy runs, he puts the chips up, all up, yeah. and he just goes, 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 goes. Those who don't know, Coach Healy replaced Coach Bliss as the new uh, offensive coach. No good. Good defense. That's a pass broken up by number three. Palatine's gonna have to, well, Matias, what do you know? What do you think? 40, uh, 48 yard line, okay. Four, I, fourth and five. I think they're going for it. I think they're going to go you know, for it. I was it. watching the NFL game last night, and on their own 30-something, yeah. the Lions went for it. Fake punt, and they ran. So we might see something like that here. Fourth and five for the Palatine Pirates. I think they're punting. That's it. Oh. Yeah. You know, Jimmy, yeah. I was watching film the other day, and you know who did that? This, like, formation who fake did? thing? Lockport. They did where the quarterback, they act like they're going to pass, and then they That's right. It. That's right. That's right. For those who don't remember, Lockport in the 2021, 2021 state finals, Hawks fell to them. Uh, what an outstanding season regardless. One of the uh, best. One of the best. One of the best. Obviously, second. You know, we've been the, doing this, this for year. three going on four years. Yeah. I would say that was my best year. That was a fun season to watch. It was a great season. Fun season to watch this Hawk. But Mike as we mentioned past seasons, yeah. this is our guys, you know? Yeah, exactly. And we've been saying that for years. Yeah. Wait till our friends are on the field. Wait till we know the team, how awesome that's going to be. And it's true. That's awesome. But yeah, you brought up Mike Chisenko, Mike Sajanko. Sajanko, we got his instant name Instant right offense. offense. That's right. That kid was instant offense. I do believe that he is uh, in the all-time numbers list. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. The Lumo on the run. Lumo. Gonna get a gain of a couple. I wish us to see a better performance of receivers blocking there, but let's see if we can pick up on that. You see, Maine South is going, going, going. They want to catch the Palatine defense off guard. Coins on the pass, right to DeLumo on the screen. Gonna get no, or maybe a loss of yards there.
Yeah, Coins, one touchdown in the air and three on the ground. So the kid can do play both ways. So I'm going to look at. I'd go as far as saying Constantine reminds me a lot of the Bears quarterback, Justin Fields. Coins. Looking. Gonna pass. He's going to keep it. Day. He's going to get a couple. Weaves to the side, brought out of bounds. He's going to get close. You know what I like seeing there? That offensive line is great. Did you see that? There was, he had all day. He had all day. Yeah. You know, number 50. Oh, first down. Move the chains. Number 50, Mikey Santoro, the center. That's right. Shortest guy. Doesn't matter. But he's not the worst. Doesn't matter. Not even, not the worst. He's a, he's a star player. Yeah. He's a star player. Someone was saying, I love The getting, play starts in. Play starts in his hands. The play starts with his hands. Play starts I was going to say hands. ends, but it doesn't really end. But it starts with his hands. First and 10 minutes out, their own 18. Coins with the ball. Coins looking. Find. Oh. Spoke too soon. Pass intended for Julian Turner. Popped right out of his hands. Jimmy, you were in the student section. What was it like down there? I'll say it was energetic. I'll say it was enthused, and I'll say it was full of hog pride. We uh, we got the chance to be in the in the student section. Oh, we didn't even mention this. We got the chance to be in the student section during, uh, Brother, during Rice. The Brother Rice game because the equipment was still in storage from the uh, from the um, construction from the construction. The PA wing where all the equipment is stored was under construction, which is why we didn't uh, did not call did not broadcast the Brother Rice game. Hard fought game, extremely hard fought game. Ended up not falling in our column. However, uh, a good learning, good learning, uh, learning opportunity. It was a good, it was a teachable moment, um, and something that I think the players on the field right now are thinking about, thinking about how to improve, thinking about how to play better, thinking about how to play as a team. Coins. It's going to be a pass. Turner Ooh. can't get it. Man South brings in the punt squad. Hunter Ethan Stump. See Matt Dabish, number 64, walking off the field. One of the Hawks, bigger players, an outstanding Iman. Uh, you know, putting on a show. I was I was sitting with him at lunch today. He said, make sure to call out. Dabby, that's his nickname. Make sure to call it Dabby. Matt Dabbish, when you're watching this, my man, shout out for you. Palatine's going to get it past the Hawk 45. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier, some guys are hurt. One of those guys being linebacker Alex Senich. That's right. Uh, an, an, an injured Maine South team. Yep. An injured Maine South team. Um, and I think that makes yeah. guys like Ryan Mallory, number 56, be able to step up. I completely agree. Now that's something that Maine South players have known. We've always had injured quarterbacks. We've always had injured linemen, injured receivers. It's nothing new to us. We know how to play. The coaches know how to coach around that and coach to that which is just a testament to the program that has been built by Coach and Sarah. It's that next player up mentality. Exactly. You know, don't just think you're fine because you're number two, number yeah. three on the depth chart. Always be ready. Exactly. Pass, 14 for the Pirates. Gets past Maine South. Brought down near the 30. You know, somebody that was in on that play, number six, Jack Van Roy. Jack actually got an interception against Warren. Now, I do have some news. I was not at the Warren game, mm -hmm. which is in many ways unfortunate. Not what I intended. I was here. I was at Meet the Teacher Night for the, uh, for the parents. Were you there? I was not. You know, this is not looking comes good. First in the Salami House. 
a fair a fair point a fair point <laughs> I did live stream the Warren game it was awesome fun to watch it was good pass it's gonna be way short We had Brendan Owens in on the coverage. Brendan looked like he was about to make a great play, but you know, the pass was short. I really could say this. I, I could go down the list of Main South players that have this attribute, that like hunger. They're all great, phenomenal athletes. They're all hungry. Gonna be brought down. Go to that one. Third and eight for the Palatine Pirates. It's gonna be a pass. Dump off. Gonna get through. He's got some room. Oh, looks like he's gonna get a first down. And number it's a seven. First down for number seven, Dominic Ball. Brendan Owens on the tackle. He's everywhere. But I know it's another example. Don't even be the tallest guy on the field to be an outstanding player, to be an asset to the team. Hungry. When you're going to bed tonight, make sure to look under your bed so Brendan Owen Owens is under there. He's everywhere. <laughs> Looking. Going deep. Pass is intended. Pass might have reached the track on the fly. Gonna be a little bit much. As we wind down the first quarter, I wanted to let everybody know the homecoming theme. Jimmy, That's take right. it away. It's a howdy homecoming. It's a howdy homecoming. So whether you show up in a hat and boots, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that, but the halls will be decorated, cowboy themed, it's Western, it'll be outstanding. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be one of our best themes in a while. I know what the gym's going to look like. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, we have outstanding people coming in and helping. Howdy homecoming. Stay tuned for that. Exciting stuff. Brought down again. I'll place my bet right now. You said somebody's going to show up a hat and boots. One of those people for sure, Charlie Mygon. Yes. Uh, I think that's, I think if you're going to put your money, it's a good bet. There, that's like negative a million odds. Like that's happening. I know he has he has the equipment. Oh yeah. I know he has the equipment. Outstanding. One you might even see some overalls. He has those too. Has been to school in them. It's awesome. Palatine's just gonna let the clock wind down in the first quarter. Clock's gonna wind down, and as you said, first quarter done. First quarter's over. What did you see that Hawks did well there? Offense. I saw yeah. our offense first drive. Yeah. What a wonderful job we did. Like I said, he, Coach Healy put all the chips at the table up front. They went. I agree. I agree. Fast pace. Matias, we mentioned that the construction is now over. The school is finished. Yeah. The school is finished. Next week, next week, for all those who are interested, there is a, a ribbon being cut. A ribbon being cut. There will be photo ops. It is the grand opening ceremony. Uh, that is September 14th. That is next Thursday. Next Thursday. Anybody in the community is more than welcome to come, I believe. 
Uh, I think, yeah, so, yes, yeah. for sure. Jimmy will be there and shake your hand. I, I'd be happy to shake your hand if you show up. I'm going. He'll do uh, signatures, pictures, handshakes. I cannot guarantee that that will happen. However, if you would like a tour Free of the of new school. Free of charge as well. Well, that's, that, that's a guarantee. If you would like a tour of the new school. Uh, Jimmy can give it to you. I would be happy to give it to you. I will be there. Shadow Jimmy, do anything you want with Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's free. <laughs> I can't be here for three hours and not. <laughs> we're yeah, not doing three you hours can make of tours. time. You can make time. You said it first. School comes first. Yeah, that's School true. comes first. Third and seven on the 15. Palatine's got the ball. Second quarter coming up. Yes, right to Dominic Ball. And they get him up just short of the first down. Bring up about a fourth couple. and three, fourth and four. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. Matias, do you get points on the board? Yes, you do. They're coming in right now. Yep. How incredible would it be if we get a block kick right here? That'd I've be seen excellent. crazier things happen on this field like two weeks ago. The main side, let's get some revenge because during the Brother Rice game, we yep. got our kick blocked. And that kind of cost the game. It's okay. That's how we got a flag. flag. Hold on. Too Who's many players on the field. That's five yards. Only makes it the more difficult. Yeah. Only makes it the more difficult. Push him back. I think. Yeah. Yes. Too many that's men on the field. Yeah. Got to get your head in the back. game. That's going to bring it back to the 17. And it's the little things like that yeah. that can depict the whole game. Yeah. You know, they don't get it here. They're not getting three points. Little thing, little thing. Last weekend, I had uh, my family's tradition. We go to the Taste of Melrose Park. There's a football field there where we usually kick, yeah. uh, kick field goals. I did get it from the 20. This guy's a professional. He's, What's yeah, the name of that football field? Uh, I believe it's, it's Serpico Field. Yeah. Serpico Field. And Shout Serpico. Out Anthony Serpico. Yeah. Kick is up. Oh, it's blocked. What I say? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Whoa. That is number five, block. Clark Simpson on the block. Jacob. Oh, is it Clark Simpson? Five. Number five. Who was five? Michael Miz. Is it? Oh, we're having some trouble here. Max Preps, we've said it before. Said it Don't before. blame us. Blame Max Preps. Yeah. It might or may, it may or may not have been. I do believe Carson. it was Mike Mazwicki, though. I know Jacob Kieta was shaking his hand in the air. It saying was. No, it was. Saying yeah, no, 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 no. It was Michael Mazwicki. It was the Michael Mazwicki. Not Clark Simpson. I apologize. Hawks with the ball on their own 20, first and 10. DeLumo in position. DeLumo's going to get it. He's going to take it. Going to get a gain of a couple. DeLumo's taking a majority of the runs this game, but the other guy, Anthony Capetius, arguably just as good. They create a great dynamic. Outstanding dynamic. A one-two punch, if you will. You know, DeLumo with the speed, and Capetius with the power back. Yeah. I will say, last year it was 34 and 36. Those were their numbers. Now we know because it was kind of hard to see. Yeah. Michael DeLumo is 22. Makes it a little bit easier for us. Just going to say. Coins are going to keep it. Pass to Evan. He's going to be Augusto. Augusto is going to run it. He's at the 50. Brought Throws. down. Close to the 30. Wow. He took that guy for a ride. Wow. What a play. He's celebrating. Rightfully so. Yeah. Hawks are going to be at the 32. Evan was driving in the bus and said, hey, get on. Took him for a ride. Pass to DeLumo. DeLumo is going to get a couple yards. 22 is getting extra chippy. I don't know what his deal is here. I saw him earlier. I was going to mention it. Him and uh, Evan kept going at it. I don't know why. Their team. Yeah. Not our 22, their 22, just to clarify. I'd be confused there for a second. Yeah. Pass. 
pass. Delumo. Delumo's going to take it. Delumo's going to run it. Going to get close. Great He's going to get to the 19. It's going to be a first down for the Hawks. Although being a junior, Constantine makes some very smart plays. Very smart plays. Again, he played last year when Jack DeFilippis had to come out. This isn't his first season no. on varsity. And let's not forget, he's a star baseball player as well, playing varsity as a yes. sophomore. Another example, another example of how dual sport athletes know what's going on. DeLumo's going to catch it. He's going to get wrapped around the leg. Second and 11. That's the first loss of the yard for the Hawks. Yeah. First loss of the yard. This game. I'm sorry? This game, right? This game, this this game yes, yes, yes. Watch number Nick Wong here on this pass. Number one, Nick Wong. Constantine. Find it! Oh, it's Wong! Oh my goodness! That's a touchdown for the Hawks! And who was that? Number, Number one, one, Nick Wong! <laughs> wow! Are you, do you, do you tell the future or something like that, Matthias? I, do you tell the future? That's amazing! Oh, oh wow, what a call! Touchdown for the Hawks! 13 0! Na na na, na na na, put that on ESPN! And no, this, we're not delayed. We're seeing this we're live. We're seeing this live. So don't think I'm up to something. I wish I was. That would be cool. That would be nice. Ethan Stump with the kick. Whoa, that thing's on Talcott. What a kick. 14 out of the Hawks. Nick Wong has been waiting to have that touchdown. I know he has. I know he was. Great to see. Former Oriole Park football alum. How about Another it? former Oriole Park football alum, Jack D. Philippus. Another Oriole Park football alum, Anthony Thome, running back for Notre, Notre Dame, Dame College Prep. Notre and Notre Dame's taking Mount Carmel on tonight. That's right. Notre Dame took down St. Pat's they last did. week. Uh, they played it at, uh, I think it was Triton. Yeah. Big game for them, big game. Seismic activity coming over from the Hawks Nest, jumping up and down, outstanding. Exactly what I said, full of Hawk pride. Pride for the school, it's outstanding. Student section showed out. Butterfield on the kickoff. You know, I've been fortunate enough to have a couple conversations with Ryder. He's a very technical player. He sees yeah. the game from a couple different levels. Yeah. Spent his summer visiting outstanding, outstanding yeah. schools. Along with being a great athlete, he's also great in the classroom. Someone you want to have, a smart athlete right there. Student always comes first. Student athlete. Comes first. And a highlight boot. student. And another missile by Ryder. That, that almost went through the uprights. Ryder's all happy. It's good to see, man. Yeah. Very Al happy for Almost Ryder. went through the uprights. Something that I think Sam Taglia did last year in the playoffs, uh, I think against uh, South Elgin. Yeah. On the kick, put it through the uprights. He had a boot. Now he's at Butler playing. First and 10 of the 20 for the Pirates. I don't like a lot about Palatine, but one thing I do like is their jerseys. They come with an Ohio State look at it. Yeah. And I like the Ohio State Buckeyes. Not when they're playing Notre Dame, but in the Big Ten. You, are you an ND fan? I am. I thought so. You're a Wisco man yourself. Hey, you know what? And I'll root for the, my Illini when I see it. Pass is up. Turn around. Ooh. Pass good. is no good. Pass broken up by number two. Number three. Uh, about a 60-yard throw. I Looks like I'm not wearing my glasses here. Looks like it was Sam Cooper. Tommy Naughton. Look like a ball. 
fumble muff and he's going to be down with a loss of yards now one thing we get the privilege of sitting up here we first of all we get the best seat in the house that's number one we also sit about three seats away from coach phil hopkins who led mates out to their first ever state championship he was a uh legend a legend legendary coach trained coach and sarah uh and someone who we get to sit next to at these games it's a true so. delight to be on this row with guys like danny mcgovern yes and phil hopkins week in and week out i guarantee it they're always sitting up here looking finds going to be a first down for palatine something that i've seen in palatine snaps is it kind of looks like like the center just kind of scoops it up it's not a direct mikey santoro throw the oh. ball into constantine coin's chest and yeah. catching it like a bullet outstanding but palatine just kind of kind of does a little little lob yeah through the legs i don't know A run for Dominic Ball. Gonna gain a gain of a couple. Big player, Dominic Ball. You know, I'm impressed by the size of the Palatine offensive line. They got some big guys, especially on the ends, the tackles. 75 is definitely one big guy. Trick play. Oh. A missed breakup by Brendan Owens. But nonetheless, he got him. It could have been way worse. But good adjustment. And looking here on the sideline, number 12, and Evan Augusto is ready to get, go back in. But seems like Inceris is going to keep him out. He just wants to keep him fresh, I personally think. You know, I think Travis Hunter went about 110 snaps on offense and defense combined. More on offense. It's a high ball. Good. Okay, we're here with some Maine South students. We're going to ask some questions. Do you believe in the power of manifestation that we can win this game? I do, because I'm my game day shoes, and I'm wearing my game day shoes, and I'm so pumped. What do you guys think is the best part about Maine South football? I think the best part is coming out with all your friends, seeing all your friends on the field. You know, senior year, you got to get a hype. It's a fun time. It's a fun time. All right. Do you have a player that you're rooting for today? Oh, yeah. My friend Jack Van Royen. I've been friends with him since sixth grade. He's, he's my boy. I'm rooting for him for sure out there. Yeah. You know, he's coming off a pick uh, last week. Took about 20 yards. I mean, he's hot. Uh, what can't he do? That's the real question. And I think we keep him in the game. We're going to win this one, that's for sure. He's going to bring it to the house. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. Back to you guys in the booth. All right. We got a penalty on the field. We're hearing about Jack Van Royen. We're hearing about manifestation and shoes. A lot of things are going on right now. Holding. Holding. Wow. Plays going to be brought back. If the camera didn't catch it, there was a big throw by Palatine. Caught on the sideline, yeah. was ruled the catch, but it's gonna come back because there's a holding. If you're wondering who that was talking, that was Nicole Semeca, one of the most talented people. Yes. I, I would say the most talented person we have here at WMTS. Yeah, spent, uh, spent her summer in, uh, in a play at the Steppenwolf Theater. Um, she was part of our game day production last year, probably will be this year. Uh, obviously, they, they, you know, things haven't been set for that, but um, the future is bright for when we leave. Yes, yes. Palatine, once again. Fine. Ooh. Dominic Ball is going to be brought down around the 30. Not the things you want to see on a second and 14. You don't want to get a, uh, you know, now it's third and three. You don't want to see that. It's plays like that that kill. When you got him on the ground, keep him there. Harsh, but the true reality. Yeah. 
Going to keep it. A wicked formation we saw. We now saw number 99, Jalen Williams, come out, usually on defense, but went in on offense there. They needed their biggest and strongest guys there on that play to get the first down, and they did. First and 10 for the Palatine Pirates. Another run of Dominic Ball. Lost you know, of a couple. A trend to this game, I'm seeing a lot how, how Palatine uses Dominic Ball is what how we used to use Mike Sajanko. You know, your star running back, yeah. you're going to give him the ball, whether it's passing yeah. or it's running. That's right. He's going to keep feeding the beast. Yeah. Give him the ball, let him run. <laughs> give him the keys and let him drive. Let him drive. I like that. Stick around for a halftime is not only will we see the youth football uh, kids of Park Ridge running the field, but yeah. great halftime show as well. Dominic Ball with the run again. Just short of the first down. Going to bring up about a third and two, let's call it. Again, Matias, what are you doing in this sort of situation? Excuse Pack the me. box. Pack the box. You know, get the guys like he had, uh, like B said, push up front, let them be rattled, and then you're gonna come from the side with the cornerbacks and really get them. Because they're not a pa they're a passing team, but passing hasn't worked tonight. So I'm assuming they're gonna keep it on the ground. Another quarterback keeper. And they got him. And that's why I say pack yeah. the box. Right. Because their all line's gonna push up, right? Right. right. But you gotta shoot those gaps, shoot those holes. Right. You put your biggest guys so the linebackers can shoot in. Right. It's gonna be fourth and two at the Hawk 18. 14 0 Hawks. About 315 left in the first half. Uh, this is going probably exactly how David Sarah and company hoped. Yeah. Uh, Fourth and two, it looks like they're gonna be going for it. Bold move. They don't have trust in their kicker. Pass. Pass, caught. First Gonna down. get passed, there you go. First down for the Pirates. They weren't expecting that. Like I said, Maine South is gonna think they're gonna be running a lot. So they weren't expecting that. First and 10 at the 13. In two minutes, you also get the opportunity to watch the band and yeah. their halftime show, Friday Night Lights, led by band director, Mr. Hutter. Uh, it's an outstanding show. I've had the privilege of seeing it a couple times. I went to the preseason uh, to watch. It's very good, as always. Palatine's gonna get a couple. Pushed out of bounds by the Hawks. You know, our band is so good, they got offered the position to go play at Northwestern tomorrow. That's and they right. accepted. And uh, I mean, when you, yeah. it's like a day in the big leagues. When Northwestern comes knocking, what are you gonna do? You, you open the answer. door, you open the door. You know, you open the door, welcome in, serve them some cookies, offer the milk, you bring out the whole nine. Roll out the red carpet. Just like Jimmy will do if you would like to take a visit here yeah, at the visit, school. Yes, September 14th, whole community's invited, make sure to come. Ask for Jimmy, look for Jimmy, scream for Jimmy. Signatures, pictures, the whole nine. Palatine, binding. Gonna be short of a touchdown. Palatine hasn't been going deep. They've been doing these little passes, chipping, yeah. chipping, chipping, exactly. chipping away, trying to catch the main south defense off guard. But one thing they don't, or they do know, is that they're not gonna catch main south defense off guard. And if they do, rare, rare. Something that is not rare is a Jimmy Johnson signature when you come on shadow day. Or Maybe I should just, it just shouldn't show up to this because I don't know if I can Handle facilitate it? your request, Matias. Palatine's gonna try to get it. Once again, doesn't look like they're gonna get through. 
Going to be stopped short around the one. Ah, they're getting a first down. First and one at the one. Here we go again. Pack the box, defense. Palatine. I mean, it's plays like that that it's super rough yep. to defend because see what the offensive linemen do is they lay yep. down, you know, get them down. Yep. And it's really hard for the D linemen to get up. I Agreed. mean, their legs are trapped. Agreed. What are you going to do? Agreed. 14 to 6, still in favor of the Hawks. Last time Palatine tried to kick. Blocked. Blocked. By Michael Mizwicki. We got it the second time. There we go. Michael Mizwicki is on the field right now. Does lightning strike twice? Does Jimmy Johnson sign signatures? It's not a great comparison. I... Ooh, kick is up. Kick is good. Van Royen was coming off hot off the edge, but just short. Another sports team to talk about right now, I want to do it, it's the girls volleyball team. Huh? Girls volleyball team. Going up the rankings in the state rankings, led by Coach Durkin, uh, a, an incredible program. If you can get out to watch a girls volleyball game, you're making the right move and spending your time right. Fun to watch, great energy, and a good team. Athletic and a, uh, a strong chemistry between them. Great team. We are very privileged to go to a school that has so many great sports teams. We're not just a one-man band. You know, we don't just have a good football team. We don't just have a good basketball team. We don't just have a good volleyball team. We have a great everything and consistent, yeah. you know. So having a good athletic program. Yeah. Led by our athletic director, Matt, Matt Ryder. Ryder. Going for the squib kick. Wow. Picked up and just going to lay on it because he doesn't want to get hit hard. Two bucks to go in the first half. Get that two-minute Joe going. First and ten for the Hawks. Coins looking, finding. DeLumo. It's Delumo. Delumo's going to run, catch the side. He's going to get past Ooh. the 35, brought out of bounds. You know, I'm going to rub my crystal ball, run my predictions. I predict we're going to do a couple more short plays, and then we're going to go for a bomb. Take a shot, if you will. I hear you. Less than two to go, second and four for the Hawks. Got to keep them on their toes. Coins, keeps Keeper. it. Keeper. Ooh. Gonna get caught up, gonna he ran lose. ran into number 64 on the offensive line. That's a hiccup, that's a hiccup. For a loss of two, that brings up a third and six for the Hawks. Watch Julian Turner, number 88 on this play. Confusion from He's the trying to get them off sides. They're just looking for a real play now. That is number 88, Julian, Julian Turner. Turner. Julian Turner, speedster. He's going to stay in bounds. He's going to get past. He's at the 40, the 35, brought down right outside the 30. Another example of me calling the play. Wow. That's two. You're up two to one right now. I'll take it. Two for two, shooting 100%. Minute 12 left. With these numbers, I'm going number one overall in the NBA draft. How about that? First and 10 of the 34 for the Hawks.
pass. Flying on the play. Looks like it's gonna be a pass interference. I think so too. We're just gonna get us a big chunk of yards. I'm not gonna lie, a good showing by the Palatine student section. Agreed, agreed. That's a hike. Give credit where credit is due. Agreed. And it is. Hawks are gonna get within the 20. First and 10 of the 19. This is where you wanna be. Yeah. Coins, DeLumo. DeLumo's gonna get a couple. Looks to be a timeout. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna give an assumption and I'm gonna give a prediction here. I assume that, well, I mean, I just saw Evan Augusto signal over Constantine. So now he's in his ear telling him, look for me, I'm open. So now that leads to my prediction. Evan Augusto is gonna get a touchdown on this drive. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I'd love for you to go 3-0 and right now. 3-3. Three for three. I think 100%. this entire stands would love you to go 3-0 and right now. Now, they don't know your prediction. However, they might. No, Palatine coach, head coach Corey Olson. This is his name. That's all I got. Limited information on Mr. Corey Olson, but, you know, that's his name. On the left side of your screen, number 12, Evan Augusto. Watch out for him. DeLumo's also in position. Something to look for, something to look for. Coins. Keeps it. Evan Augusto. Holy cow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was close. It's pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, it is pretty wicked how I'm actually calling these plays. I don't I'm know what I can attest that to. Now, Playing a lot of Madden, watching a lot of football. Now, you've heard that the NFL is scripted, haven't you? Yeah. And it is. Just something to think about right now. Oh, Food yeah. for thought. Food for thought. Yeah, we're in the IHSA's pockets here. I got the book in front of me. Here we go. <laughs> Coins. Looking. Trying to find. Ooh. Finds Turner. What a great catch by Julian J.J. Turner. <laughs> Timeout. First and ten at the at the four, it looks like, for the Hawks. You know, Jimmy, I'm wondering, I'm a little hungry here. What's your favorite Parker's restaurant? Parker's restaurant, you know, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna stand true to kind of what we've been preaching for the past three seasons. I'll say Holtz again. I'll Ooh. say Holtz. Pepper, pepper and egg sandwich, ah, always a good choice. It's off menu. It's something that people don't know about, but whoever's in the kitchen knows how to make it, knows how to make it right. I love it and I'm gonna stick true to it. I'm a city barbecue man. City barbecue, also good, also good Mel's barbecue. And that's not a knock on Mel's barbecue Mar either, Mel's barbecue because you want to know why? Why is that? Mel's barbecue has a TV. City barbecue doesn't have a TV. How are you going to be a barbecue place and not have a TV? It's tough. For that sole reason, I wouldn't pick your place, you know? Yeah. You got to have a TV because barbecue's, barbecue is one of those foods you eat watching a game, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And Mar Mel's isn't bad food either. I would just I put City Barbecue tasty. better. Now, a City Barbecue put a TV, they would be the spot. But they don't. But it boggles my mind how you don't have a TV. I went there with a couple of the guys on the football team one day, and we're like, where's the TV? 
It, maybe it's a BYOTV situation. BYOT, I yeah, I'm not know. sure. Looks like they're going to be going in the Wildcat formation. DeLumo at quarterback. Watch for the handoff to Capetius. Put his head down and goes forward. Gonna be a keeper for DeLumo. DeLumo finds it. DeLumo's DeLumo. gonna get close. Does he got it? Looks like Winning he's got it. Folks are saying yes. Refs haven't put it up yet. Is he down? Refs, I, refs he might be no. down at the refs one. Refs say no. Refs say no. Down at the one, and Sarah's calling for a timeout. He's on the field. Yeah, he's gonna give the ref an earful. Hawks are going to be second down at the one. 37 seconds left. It's where you want to be. They're going to take a second to talk about it. They're going to get their get their play together. Yeah. They're going to make it right. They're going to end this half up 21-7 to seven to possibly the best team that they will play the entire season. Leading into playoffs. Okay. Okay. I would, mm, I would say the season. best team was Brother Rice. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. Okay. I'm going to have to disagree. I think that it was uh, – I think Brother I think Rice's defense storm. is way better than this well, defense. I think – That was a game on, we could have easily won. It was, it was what I – talking with the players, it was a perfect storm that occurred that, that took us down, which is what happens, which is what happens. Yeah. So, regardless, again, it was a teachable moment. It was a learning moment. Someone to take – Moving forward, moving into the conference games. You want to win the conference championship, once again, take what you've learned, put it into practice. Coins back in at quarterback. I'm still going to bet it's going to be a handoff to Michael Yeah, Bulema. I'd assume you just keep it on the ground. I'm going to say yes. What I say? He's got he it. He pushes them through. Touchdown, Fox! Whoa! Wow! Incredible, incredible, incredible drive! What a way to do it! Kept there, cool. Played it right. They're gonna give the ball back with no time. So that's the exact way you yeah. want them to do it. Exactly. Almost like it was scripted. I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just. Again, food for thought. Ethan Stump with the kick. Kick is up. Kick is up. Flag on the play. On the field. Kick was no good. There is a flag on the play, however. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to guess that it was on the defense. Possibly. I stand corrected. On Main South? It is on Main South, but it's declined. Penny's huh. gone. Oh, because he missed it, so it doesn't really matter. They so don't why give would you want to give a shot? Yeah. Why would you want to do another shot? Like on my math quiz, Mr. Live, two shots. That's what he says when we're taking it online. 20 to 7 for the Hawks. Jimmy, I've interviewed a lot of the football players, yeah. and a lot of them said their pregame hype song has something to do with rock, whether that's Pearl Jam, Def Leppard, wow. you know, any of the ACDC. What, what's your pregame? What's my pregame song? I mean, honestly, it depends on what we're going into. If I'm going into a test, and this is, this is the truest thing that I will say, is if it's a big test, say the ACT or something like that, SAT, whatever, AP, <laughs> on my car right there, and my dad will know this, I have to listen to Good Good as Hell by Lizzo. Oh, yeah. I, I've, been I've been doing it since, the eighth grade, uh, since I was in eighth grade, taking the HSBT high school placement test uh, at Loyola. Um, I've been doing it. I feel like when I do it, I get better scores. It's a superstition of mine. Um, I'll listen to all good ones. I listen to uh, Don't Stop by Fleetwood Mac, Secondhand News by Fleetwood Mac. I mean, let's take people yeah. behind the mic. What do you listen before this? Um, oh, before this, I was listening to, uh, I think, Tub Thumping. By Chum Wamba. Uh, <laughs> I think that was what I was listening to when I was uh, when I was on my way. You know, I'm more of I'm a SoundCloud mix guy. You know, oh, EDM, okay, a little blasted on the car radio. Boom, boom, boom. 
First time that Ryder Butterfield isn't going to get it uh, into the bandstands. But he's not going to take it out. No. As I said earlier, it's yeah. Park Ridge Football Youth Night. So yeah. look forward to at halftime. The kids are all going to run down That's right. the track. You know, it's funny. You know, speaking of that, if you looked at Hawk Nation today, yeah. it was interviews of the players with their guilty pleasure songs. I'll say, a lot of J-Lo, a lot of Beyonce, a lot of Taylor Swift, who's coming out with a new movie. Maybe we'll talk and about that in the second half. And all two of them. It's a guilty pleasure song. You listen to it, no one else is listening. Who cares? Something's going on. Oh, they're just taking a knee. They're gonna Palatine's going to wind out there. 20 to 7 for the Hawks. Uh, it looks to be. But I can't go this stream. I mean, you brought up Charlie Bliss, offensive coordinator. You know, last year I was talking about the Loyola football team. You were kind of a hater, and it turned out you were wrong as they won an 8A state championship. So, again, yeah. congratulations, Loyola. I'm with you. Jimmy's not. And even a bigger shout-out to my boy Kyle Balthazar, just committed to the Army. That's right. To play football and serving the army That's so right. all to them all to them 20 to 7 for the hawks stay tuned the halftime show we'll be right back after that it's an outstanding game at wilson field we'll be right back
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Back and better than ever. Right around the punt. This is one of the first times I've seen a kick taken out from Ryder Butterfield. It's been kicked from Ryder Butterfield. Police are coming in. You know, it's only standard, and I'll tell you, at the Warren game, which we weren't at, which we weren't at, uh, once again, there was a fight, and it ended up Let's on the steer news. Clear. Yeah, steer, steer clear. clear. I will say, there I'm were. stop you there. Let's steer clear. I don't believe there were any May South students in that though at all. I just like staying clear with that sort of thing. We stay clear. We stay. That's fine. Okay. Looks that's to be a, a place little. I don't like to go. I like to go a lot of places, but that's one of the places rarely. Okay. I don't like all right. Go. All right. Cool. Let's move on. Palatine with the ball. Drive number Dominic seven. Ball. He's gonna get He's par. Gonna get about the thirty-seven. He's shaking and baking. Like the famous movie line in uh, Talladega Nights. If you ever get a hold of Talladega my phone, Nights. I'm telling you, that's one of my vet wallpapers. Do you have the rotating wallpapers? Yeah. Okay. Talladega, the ballad of Ricky Bobby. Yeah, I'm some of it's well. Jack Bedeen, some of it's Talladega Nights, some of it's a view, you know. Very good. That's a very funny movie. Yeah. 27 to the Hawks. As a reminder of the score. Palatine, number seven again. You know, something to look Comic forward ball. to. If we keep Palatine at seven and we put up another two touchdowns, expect number 28, I think it is, J.J. Schlenhart to go in. You might be asking, okay. who's, who's that? Gen who's J.J. Schlenhart? Exactly. I'll ask you that. J.J. Uh, is a, he's a new, newer quarterback playing for us. I don't think he's seen the field yet. However, um, when he does come in, I've heard great things. Yeah. I've heard great things. So something to look out for. Artie's a great basketball player. Looks like Tommy Naughton was grabbing the legs of that player there, holding on to him. Look like uh, be a third and short. Yeah, third and short. Still on their uh, their half of the field. I th no, they're gonna go for it, but it's gonna be a. Hmm, I'm I'm, per I'm just thinking what they're gonna do here. Okay. I'd assume quarterback keeper. They may like Dominic Ball take it and run up, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Keeps it. Gonna be a first down. One person I'm looking down on the field, one of our new principals, that's Dr. Pressler. Dr. Pressler and Dr. Asoya, uh, the interim principals taking over after Dr. Collins left. He is now the superintendent. Over at D64, they, uh, they chose a hometown hero for, uh, for that position. Uh, outstanding. They're invigorated in the school already. Um, spending time at the football games, I've had an opportunity to talk with them. Uh, very committed to continuing the tradition of Hawk spirit, Hawk pride that we've been curating over the past couple of years. Sad to see Ben Collins go, a guy Very. you and me had a connection with. Yes, and, I, uh, I was a big fan of Dr. Collins, yes. Not that we no longer have that convention connection, it's just not as close, because uh, he's not here. Yeah. You know, his best moment with you and me was probably when he pit, put on the Hawk helmet that was, during game day. That, that, was, that was awesome. Special. That was awesome. During the game day, uh, like a Lee Corso moment. Yes. Uh, a Lee Corso moment for college game day. Uh, that was awesome. And something that I think, uh, maybe a little teaser that we'll be doing uh, this year. We'll have whoever's game principal. Game day will that. be coming back. Well, Let's game day will be coming back, but the. Uh, the head. The head, the, uh, the Harley, Harley the Hawk mascot head. Fun stuff. Palatine, Dominic Ball going to keep it again. Going to get caught up. Loss of a. Maybe about a yard there. Going to be third and three around the 38. Taken down by Michael Miswicki. If you're just checking in, some things to know right off the bat. We've seen some really good main south offense. Players like Nick Wong, Michael DeLumo, Evan Augusto, Julian Turner step up. And no. Constantine has made a very great impact in on this team. I haven't seen a mistake. Have you, Jimmy? I can't say I have no, not at all. Not that I would say. I, so that's the thing. We we come up here and we announce the games. Um, uh, we are we are not players in the slightest. No. So to say that we saw a mistake, or a, to say hey, hey, I, I'm, not, I'm an I'm, ex I'm an ex flag football player. Okay. 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 Uh, but to say that we saw a mistake. Michigan State Spartans, coached by Mr. DeFilippis, some of the players on that team. 
Brady Marks, Braden Quinn, Lou Clifford, Ryan Mallory, Jack D, Anthony Serpico, Kyle Balthazar. Star-studded team, if you would ask me. I would say so myself. But again, it's great to talk about the positives of a team that has worked so hard, and I hope when they're listening that they're hearing that. Uh, it, it is it is fun to watch them out on the field. So For like three years straight yeah. on another flag football team out, we oh. went 21-0. That was with wow. Sean O'Donnell and Ryan Heidos. That was a great MSW team. MSW kids. Pass number one. It's and a handoff. Leaky. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh. Bought out of bounds by Tommy Bezad. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that's going to be an unnecessary roughness. Get out of there. Tackle was made by, I think that's number two, Brendan Owens. But I think it was Tommy Bezad. Tommy, no, it wasn't because he came off the edge. And see, he had him. He should have just let him go, but he kept going. You know, the emotions got to the best of him. And you can't blame him, but you always want to be player safety first. They're going to get about a 15 yard, that's a substantial gain. Again, it's the little things like that you fine tune, you don't make those mistakes, that wins games automatically. Because teams like Palatine, that can't really get go things going on the ground or air, they look forward to mistakes like this happening. No, but back to the point. We are not football players by yeah. any means. I'm just giving that as a tidbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Palatine, first and 10 at the Hawk 23. They're going to keep another Dominic Ball handoff. Going to get past the 20. You know, I don't even. So when we were finding the rosters for Palatine, uh, it was scarce. It was scarce. We had to go on huddle and take screenshots. Huddle, obviously being the uh, the film website uh, for football players um, I will say that there aren't there aren't many numbers but you only really need like like two the quarterback Jalen Williams and Dominic ball yeah what a Dominic great ball. cut by Dominic ball impressive stuff third and two for the Palatine Pirates Again, they're going to do their quarterback keeper play or they're just hand off the Dominic ball. But I wouldn't, I mean, they're not going to do it because they can't do, they're not really good at throwing the ball here all night. And they might pass, you know, catch them off guard because they've done the run play every time. Yeah, and they're just going to keep it. Quarterback keeper. Oh! Going to get stopped. Wow. Going to get stopped. Uh, he I, got stumbled uh, up. Uh, Where'd he go? A big, I mean, the momentum is already with Maine South, but the momentum will be 10x. Shout out, 10x. If they get the, oh, no, they got a first down. Okay. No, fourth and one. Fourth and, fourth and one. one. I okay, was looking, I'm seeing no. different numbers. Okay. We're seeing, there were two, one. if you're looking at uh, at the down markers. Their quarterback's not even in yet. There He's were coming two. in just now. Hawks, fourth and one. Ah, ah they're going to get passed now. I'll say they're doing a great job on the offensive line, putting our D linemen. I haven't seen any snacks tonight, and or stop. I haven't mean, really close stops. They've been really good at getting the fourth down conversion. I just want to shout out the WMTH broadcasting yes, unit. Yes. Yes. You're a unit. A great, it's a great team. We put on a great show. I'd I, argue I'm, to say the best in the state. I you know, think Mount Carmel's got a, a presence. Argument. All these schools got a presence, but I think I, know, I think it's Mount I think it's an argument. I think it's an argument. Yeah, we have award-winning filmmakers. Dominic Ball is going to get. Uh, well, he's kind of like crawling onto the ground there. It's, it looks like he's going to be short at the six. Um, it, it, we have again, we have award-winning filmmakers. Uh, on our crew here. I don't know how many schools can say that, uh, that also have good football teams that are able to broadcast the games. Um, I assume the number's few. You know, my eye in the sky is that we're going to be getting an interview with Gianni Spallone and Christian Correa in the next Whoa. few minutes. What Two a lineup. characters, Two characters, to say the least. Gianni Spallone, uh, Might member be of the Maybe one of the biggest characters. A funny, funny guy. A funny, funny guy. A member of the Mantel golf team with me. Going to get brought down short again. It's going to be second and third. 
for the Pirates. You know, we, bra we brought up Jack D earlier on in this stream. He's wearing on the sidelines the turnover chain. Unfortunately, he hasn't taken it off. That's true. We're looking for him to take it off. That's right. That's right. Waiting for that moment. Palatine at the two-yard line. Third and one. Another quarterback keeper. Gonna, uh, he's he's going to go backwards. It's, it's going to be gonna close. Gonna close. Touchdown, gonna Palatine. 13-20. Don't count Palatine out. I mean, obviously, we know the thing we want. I just want to say, we haven't, game. we haven't touched the ball this half. No. And that's not our fault. And there's four minutes left. We we dragged them on. They but didn't. they did a good job of grinding us down. I mean, but that's their well, that's, offense. That's they did that on purpose, Jimmy. They really did. Palatine. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. The extra point. Mike Mazwick is on the field. Ooh. Oh. Got Jack close. Van Royen, another almost, almost. 2014, Hawks still in the lead. It looks like we'll be sending it down sometime. I just got to give a quick shout out to my boy Jack, or Sal Perino, Sal Perino. and Jack Fadine. But Sal is the number one cook in the nation. Agreed. Well, <laughs> he's, he's a very good cook. Wings, player. hot dogs, hamburgers, you name it, he's got it. You're going to see, by the way, when the camera cuts, you might, you might be thinking to yourself, is this normal? It is. Totally <laughs> normal. Just kind of get ready for Let's it. Let's go with the flow. And we're going down. Sometime soon. We'll be up here to fill you in when it's time. Any moment. All right, we are back with some students and we're gonna ask them some questions. Follow me, ready? Hey Christian, how's the weather from up there? Oh, it's amazing. Look at the view, look at everything. It's amazing. I'm sure. Now, I know homecoming seems like a really long time away, but do you guys have dates? Who are you going with? Um, yeah, so we're kind of going together. Yeah. Me and him, together. I love that. Awesome stuff. Well, now to talk some real business, what's been your guys' favorite play or just part of the game so far? I love the uh, E I E I E I O chant. That's my favorite part of the game. Oh, mine would have to be the same one. It's awesome. the best one. So those are some good options. Hey, uh, we would ask what your favorite player is, but I think we already know the answer. Yeah, you got is. some uh, words of encouragement for him? Yeah, so he's kind of hurt right now, but he'll come back and he'll do amazing. Awesome yeah, he'll get back in there. He'll be throwing, he'll be throwing dimes. I'm not worried about it. All right. Well, we hope for the best. Back to you guys. Yeah, shout out Jack D, the great hey, eight. Funny stuff going down on there. There Hawks. was a flag while you guys were watching that that's interview. That's right. And that's why we're on our First own. First and 10 AI. at the Hawk 8. Constantine Quarterback keeps keep. it. Whoa. Going to get a, a couple. baseball slide. Yeah, a little. And that's another flag. Should be. I don't know why they're keeping the. Yeah, come on. What are you doing? I mean, for some reason, the refs are going to keep the flags in the pie, back in the pocket, but I would have thrown that one. He literally gave himself up and slid on the ground. You can't hit him. That's how somebody gets hurt. DeLumo's got the ball. DeLumo's going to take it to the sideline. Going to get a little, it looks to be a loss of a couple. They're bringing the heat, Palatine. They're mad. I don't know if somebody said something or what's going on over there. But they're mad. Third and three for the Hawks. Coming out in the five wide formation. Little confusion on the Hawk own. Oh. Constantine's gonna keep it. He's gonna look, he's gonna try to find Augusto. Looks like he does. Incredible catch. Palatine thought he didn't. But he did. Move Evan Augusto. Chains. Him. That was the play they needed at that moment, I'll tell you. 
If there was one play, that was it. Well, they found it. Instant offense from guys like Evan Augusta. Boom, flags in the air. We'll see who it is. Looked like it could have went both ways, and it's gonna be on Mansell. Yeah, I don't think we've addressed this. Coach Natali, yes. he is no longer here. It is now Coach Burke, former Maine South offensive lineman. Correct. First and 15 for the Hawks, two minutes remaining. Run to DeLumo. DeLumo's got the room. DeLumo's going to get right back to where they started from. Great hole created for DeLumo on the offensive line. I don't know why, but the NFL and football fans in general don't really give a lot of credit to offensive linemen. Like no. we said earlier, with just Mikey Santoro, the play starts with him. Yeah. But I mean, the offensive line is so, so yeah. tough to do. There was and they don't get any love. Yeah, Zach Stoilov is literally a quote who is unfortunately. Oh. Part of me. Watch out. Uh, Evan Augusto, oh, he's up. Oh, uh, just shaking up a little bit. A quote from uh, Zach Starlov was, Lyman get no love. Uh, <laughs> no said, love. Lyman get no love. So no love. we're working on that. We're trying to uh, trying to change the way we call the games, trying to make sure that everybody's included in that. Uh, Palatine's making a chain. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because their player kind of went after him. It was a late hit, but whatever. They were looking like Ivan just needs to stretch out. Third and seven for the Hawks. Constantine moves it to DeLumo. Read option, but anybody could have been predicting that throw away. What's going on? Somebody down? Somebody's down. Somebody's down on our team. I don't know who it is, but it's somebody. Or it's on Palatine. I, we really can't see where Block uh, does look like it is a Palatine, Palatine player. Well, yeah. This point, Helmets are both. It's yeah. Maine South. If it's a red helmet, it's Maine South. Or it's Palatine because their coach is coming over. Nonetheless, we hope that player is okay. Absolutely. Does look to be a Palatine player at this moment. I'd uh, like to give a quick shout out, I like to do it, uh, mm -hmm. to the Wilmette Golf Club, my place of work during the summer, the best golf course in the state of Illinois. I've heard best, it's yeah. like the real life Caddyshack. I think that's a fair way to describe it. I think it's a fair way to describe it. I had the uh, pleasure of working with Pete Thompson this year, uh, another member of the Mainsoft golf team. Um, fun stuff, shout out to Cole Highland, the, uh, the head golf professional there, uh, a veteran, uh, fun golfer, fun to be on the course with. Um, if you're interested and want to work, you like golf, uh, I'd say that that's the place to go. That's the place where you're going to get uh, going to get to have the most experience, be on the course. It's a lot of fun, so uh, a little nod to them. We're going to give a round. We're going to all clap for the Palatine player that just got up. Yeah, how would you rate working at Wilma Golf Call? Ten out of ten. 10 out, 10 out of 10. Awesome. Uh, it is, it is a, an outstanding, outstanding experience. It's fun. I learned a lot. Um, I got to play a lot of golf, which is obviously something that I enjoy. Um, food is 25% off. I mean, what, <laughs> oh, yeah. what can I complain about? What's your go-to? There's a great burger, and people kind of diss it. It's called the Lawn Dog. Um, the name of the restaurant is The Lawn, so it's a Lawn Dog. It's a burger. It's a oh, hot dog burger don't, combination. Don't no, no, do no, no, that. no, no, no. It's like a smash don't, burger. They, yeah, no. It's it's really good. I think it's really good. No, it's not a smash burger. It's a smash burger. No, it's it a, wouldn't be. If it's got a hot dog, it's no, not smash. You're no, not. If you smash the hot dog, then I'm really out. No, I'm already out right now. But no. I would be extra out if you smash no. a hot dog. No, 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 no. It's a it's a burger. It's a burger that they smash and they put it in a hot dog bun. Oh, oh. It's that's very like ground beef. It's good. Then that's just ground beef, Jimmy. Okay, ground beef. Still tastes fine to me. Oh. Fair catch. I mean, if you need something to wash down with Jimmy's nasty food that he just brought well, up, I'm not sure about head that. over 
to Rita's in Park Ridge. That's Great pretty good. Italian ice. Pretty good. I would say I'm the number one customer, and I'm bringing up Rita's. I'm shouting out Sophie Pop, worker good stuff. at Rita's. Good stuff. She's a truck driver. She drives the truck. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Wow. Two events, she drives the Rita's truck. So shout out to you, Sophie. My go-to is cotton candy small. That's really sweet. And if you want the key to Jack D. Philippus's heart, he is also a cotton candy small. Dominic Ball on the run. About two yards, three yards. Minute left in the third quarter. Clock is going to wind down. Hawks still up 20 to 14. I'm still disgusted by this lawn dog. It's in I my head. I really wouldn't be. It, I. What do they put on it? If they put cheese, do they put cheese on it? Of course they put cheese That's on it. That's disgusting. You go try it for yourself, Matthias. I'll tell you. And then what else do they put on? Just cheese? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's grilled what? onions. Grilled onions actually are really good. Okay, the grilled onions. Yeah. I'm there. Cheese? What? It's, it's a melted cheese. It's called Merck's cheese. You can only find it like it really in Wisconsin, or that's where it's like plentiful. Anyway, Dominic Ball once again for maybe the 25th time in a row. Third and third and five. Okay, other than the lawn dog, yeah. what else do they have over there? Sandwiches. Oh, you're, you're bringing up golf places. I, this yeah. is going right over my head. Shout out Freddie Wessel and Noah Van Hees, workers at Golf Center. Good stuff. They're talking about Club Casa. Their go-to is a Pepsi, and they get the wings. They said the wings are really good over there. I don't know if you've ever tried. I've never tried. I love wings. And a lot of the guys that I hang out with love wings. You know, Mikey Santoro, the key to his heart is yeah. wing stop. Wing stop, okay. Look, are you a beat ups fan? We've been to beat ups. We're a big beat ups group, but mostly wing stop. We will send it over to our friends on the field for an interview. All right, we've got some band representation right here. Now Mia, this was her first time conducting from the center podium. How did that feel tonight? It felt so amazing. The feeling you have when you're up on that podium is just like, it's it's phenomenal. And then the feeling afterwards, it's so much better. And I wish I could just hold on to it forever. Amazing. Now, Jaden, I got to say, I love watching you from the student section because of how animated you are. How does that feel? I mean, it must feel great, right? You know, I go out there after halftime and I just see all the fans cheering. And you know, I just got to go for it. It's the best feeling. In exactly. That's awesome stuff. Now we've got to ask, what's been your favorite song you've performed so far? Mine has to be Mr. Blue Sky. And I'm going to go with Starships because the drums get to do a little dance. Those are some great choices. Now, if we can make a small request, would you be able to show us how you conduct? Yeah, of course. Okay, so you'll start with your hands out, like in front of you, and then you'll go one, and then this in is two, out, three, and then you go up, which is four, and then down is one. So it's, up, we can go slow. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah! So that's it, that's it. Awesome stuff, you guys. Thank you so much. Back to you guys in the booth. Back Thank to you. us in the booth, we go. Wow, a little uh, little, little lesson in, uh, in music, music theory right there. I guess not music theory, but. Uh, music 101. Music 101. Learning the basics. First and 10 at their own 48 for Palatine. Number 10. To Ball. Ball's going to find an opening. Going to get a first down. Good run right there. I'm telling you, they're doing a great job at running, but they're obviously not passing, so I can't grade them on that. But if I'm giving them a grade on running, I'm going 8-9. Eight nine running. That's like shot. a that's a Dave Portnoy type of rating yeah. right there. Uh, I like that. Pizza, pizza reviews. Yeah. Shout out Dave Portnoy, but I meant I don't align with everything he says, just like everybody. So don't get me in a chokehold there. But you know, shout out to him because that's why I said eight nine. You know. Yeah.
Whoa, a little bit different from Ball there. Talking about pizza, Jimmy, what's your favorite pizza place in Park Ridge? In Park Ridge? Yeah. Or let's go Chicago, because we're so blessed. I know Ooh. we have so many options. I would, I mean, so if, it, if we're doing thin crust, uh, Giordano's. Barnaby's. But, uh, Barnaby's. Thin crust Barnaby's. Interesting. Optimal, optimal. Post dodgeball, you're with the boys, you guys all pack in a booth, you get an order of fries, you get a liter of Coke, liter you guys Coke. all pack into the booth, Yeah. you got a, a thin crust pizza, it's the best. Fun stuff. Wow, that's two passes in the same drive for Palatine. Interesting. Yeah, just as I was saying, they're not passing, they're starting to pass. Yeah. Going back, if we're doing deep dish, I gotta say Gino Cease. It's such a classic. It's really Great. good stuff. Really good you stuff. You ever been in the Lake Geneva uh, location? It's right on the uh, lake. Can't say I have. When I'm up there, I'm getting Mars ribs, though. Mars ribs? Okay. Really tasty stuff. First and 10 at the 20 for the Pirates. I got a story about Lake Geneva. Ball's got the ball again, no pun intended. <laughs> He's going to get a first down. So I had the opportunity to go to Country Thunder this year. Yeah. And let me tell you what. Me, my friend Salvatore Perino, and my other friend, Luke Disparti, we both uh, all went up to Lake Geneva before we went back down to Wonder Lake, our house where we were staying. And, you know, Lake Geneva, right? right. We're going to walk down the lake. You're getting some ice cream. You're getting some pizza. We stopped at Champs. We got some great seafood. Uh, I don't think Sal and Luke like their food, but I for sure like my food. I got the coconut shrimp breaded, and they had this pink sauce. It was uh, uh, great. Interesting. Ball with it again. He's going to try to find a hole. Going to get to about the two-yard line. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just say it. Palatine is being led by Dominic Ball right, right now. I don't want to say carried. I don't feel like it's overused in the broadcasting world. I think it's overused in the world in general. I'll say led. Uh, Ball, again, this time we're going to be brought down. It's going to be third and I mean, and I made the comparison earlier. Dominic Ball to Mike Sajanko, you know. Yeah. They, they rely on him, right? Yeah. Third and three, uh, a stop here, a loss of yards. You know, we're in the fourth quarter, eight minutes. Single digit minutes left in the game. Quarterback's gonna keep it, not gonna get in. They're pushing, but they're going Who's back. Who's going to win it? Looks like Main South. Looks like Main South's going to win that dark pile. They are going to be fourth down. Uh, I will tell you, if they don't choose to go for the uh, go for the field goal, don't choose to go for the points, and Main South stops, that might tip this game. Yeah. I think it will. Looks like they are going to choose to go for gonna it. Everybody's going to get up on their feet here. Uh, timeout. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Make him think of a little bit. Now, Jimmy, if you're Palatine, yeah. what is Coach Corey Olson telling his players right now? Well, since he can't hear us, I would say, you know, they just have to stick to what they know, right? This is a simple drive. However, if I was on the Main South coaching staff, I would say the exact same thing. I would say you have to stop. They're at the second yard line. Uh, you know, you have to just stop them. You have to get the ball to work in your favor. I think that's the best way to say it. Play the game that you know. I know Coach and Sarah, I, I think I understand that Coach and Sarah kind of runs the defense. I've always kind of been confused about that. Um, but when you're talking about expertise and, and leadership, that's the guy that you want in your corner. That's the guy that you want calling the shots. I mean, I, I, if you're the main south defense, like yeah. I've said before, you just got to dig, you know. Seek your feet a little bit deeper in the ground. Exactly. And just push. Exactly. All exactly. your might. It, these are the moments they practice for, you know. 
fourth and two, seven minutes left. If they get a stop here, we're looking at game over. Not necessarily game over, but I would say it's gonna tip in their favor. The entire stand is standing up right now. Loud uh, and again, proud. Seismic activity. Uh, something else. Snap. Quarterback keeper, and Touchdown. he's gonna waltz in to the end zone. Touchdown, Palatin. They're gonna tie it up uh, with the chance to take the lead with a little less than eight minutes left in the game. Let me say, ton of time for football. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but I think right now it's gonna come down to who gets the ball last. Who gets the ball last, and what are they able to do with it? You know, a sweatshirt I wear yeah. to school do you know? I'm not thinking of it. Lots of game left. Lots of game left. We say we've I said always that wear that sweatshirt. We've said and that, that goes a lot. for all things in life, sports, life. You know, lots of game left. Let's see. Pick us up. Ooh, you, you could tell he was a little nervous on yeah. that one. Yeah. You know, he had just got it in. 21 to 20 for the first time in the game of the Palatine Pirates a lead. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that that was what needed to happen. The Hawks needed a little bit of fire in their belly. They needed something. They had such a great lead. They're up 20 to 7. A little bit of comfort room. Now they got to play like the team they are. Now they have to play like the team they've practiced to be, the team they've worked to be. This is, I think, if, if they had to be in a situation where they're losing, I'd say it's at this point in the fourth quarter with this score, ball in their hands. It's time to go. Evan Agosto still on the sideline being stretched out. You know, as we saw earlier, he got a little bit clipped up on a play. Let's see what we can do, what DeLumo and Turner can do on the return. Who do you think it's going to, DeLumo or Turner? I like Turner. No doubt both of them got speed, so, you know. I would say the momentum now is in Palatine's hands. It's a terrible wow. pick. You're going to fair catch. No, we said DeLumo and Turner. It didn't get to DeLumo no. and Turner. We didn't. It went to Ooh. our guy, Big Ant. Big Ant Capetius. <laughs> Love it. But that was not a good kick by any means. Again, I'm still looking. I mean, we're not on defense, but I want that turnover chain put on somebody yep. else other than Jack D. Maybe something in the last couple seconds of the game to close it out. Yeah. I'll put my prediction in right now. I'll put it in the pot. I said it though. I don't think the main off main South offense has done bad. No one has the defense, but I think the offense is still hot. So let's see what we can do here. Constant DeLumo in position. Finds Evan Augusto. Pass to the knees. He still catches it. He's a little bit limpy, though. That's unfortunate, but. It's going to be second and, it looks like second and one. <laughs> Fine, Stowe. Oh. Get it. Okay. Ball's the dead. Ball's dead. Dead ball. Third and one for the Hawks. Pass intended for DeLumo there. Ran too fast, couldn't bring the ball with him. Looked like. They're bringing in, Main South is bringing in number 41. Um, waiting on who that is. Derek Cosiel. Derek Cosiel. Junior, correct? Whoa. Or sophomore? Uh, Derek I was so Junior. Looking for Derek. Sophomore. Under lower classman, nonetheless. He's going to get a first down. going to get past the 40. He's going to be brought down around the 42. First down for the Hawks. Yeah, they used Derek in a very unique way. How's that? He's a tight end, but he's not really catching. They put him out there to block. Interesting. No. No, I'll tell you, I was quizzing you on, on the numbers beforehand. I was quizzing you on the numbers, and you knew him. 
you knew him. So Derek Kelsey right there. Time's ticking. Five wide formation for Constantine Coins. Lumo in motion. Constantine's going to keep it. Gain a couple. He's got to find a hole. He's got to find a hole. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. Can he go all the way? Touchdown, Mitzel. Wow. What a run for Constantine Coins taking the lead. Over six minutes left in the game. What a way to do it. Channeling his inner Justin Fields on that quarterback keeper right there. Way to go, Constantine. Again, the main South offense is hot. They were never down, you know. Now this is interesting. It's something that I almost thought about. It looks like the main the Hawks are yeah, they're gonna do it. They're gonna go yeah, for two. You got to. They're gonna go for two. You gotta make up for that missed extra point. This is big. This is this is big. Trying to get him off sides. At timeout. So now they may take a kick, to be honest. Okay. Hey, kick is a kick. You're yeah. still in the lead. You're it's gonna super get risky to do. I would kick it if really? I was in Sarah. Okay. And then he's a smart enough coach to make that decision on his own. But if he wants to listen to me, take right. the kick. Again, two sides to the story. Two sides to the story. Do you make up for the mistake that you made earlier on? And again, not a mistake. Do you make up for the missed kick? Uh, but it all boils down to how much trust does he have in his defense? I would say enough. I would say enough. But that's going to depict if he's going to go for two or not, you know? Yeah. Because if they score six, they're automatically above us, right, if we miss this two point. So that's why I play it safe, go for one, and then just have trust in your defense. See what we do. It looks like we're going to be going for it. It looks like they are going to go for it. I would give a prediction, but I, I don't like doing that. You know, I don't just want to throw out blanks. See something, say something. Yeah, pass. Constantine looking, trying to it's find it. Gets one off of him. Find somebody in the end zone. Boom. Got it! That is number 88, Julian J.J. Turner. Wow. Wow. What a way to do it. What a way to do it. Now they've erased that mistake. They've erased, they've erased it. You know, I got to say it. He's so short that he might have been able to scheme around, yeah, you know? Exactly. What a way to stay, cool, stay calm. R came out of the pocket, players rushing at him, defense had his back, came at it, found JJ in the corner, outstanding play, textbook, fight songs playing, jumping up and down from the student section. That's the way you do it. 6-17 left in the game, 28-21, Maine South Hawks. I mean, what a great job our offensive line is doing, truthfully. What a great job. I'm really liking the stuff I see out of them. They've, if they've had a penalty, it's limited, right? Like, I don't, I haven't seen a penalty really on them. Maybe one, maybe one on them. Let's see what Butterfield can do here. Ryder Butterfield on the kick. Kick is up, kick is good. It's a missile. Yeah. Caught in pitch. the end zone. Let's see if that turnover train can be given away. Hey, you know what I said? I said at the end of the game. I said by the end of the game, it will happen. I think it's gonna be Something like this. Right. Give it to me. Uh, Pirates are going to have the ball. 
Pirates are going to have the ball. Be about 20 seconds left. They're going to be at their 10. Pass, kind of like a Hail Mary sort of attempt. Mansell's going to catch it. Turnover chain, move it. Dominic Paul going to be, uh, he's going to be brought out of bounds eventually. Second and six for the Pirates. Maybe another run. Ball takes it again. He's going to get caught go. up. We He's going to go off the yards. Whoa, what a play. <laughs> Clock will continue to wind down. We are less than six minutes away from the final whistle being blown. I will say right now, for the Mansell defense. Yeah. Keep the status quo. Big. Keep Big the status leg. quo. That's going to be a pass. pass. A Doesn't look like pass. he's got anything. Oh. Samuel Cooper on the interception. Turn. Get the chain. Get the chain. Samuel Coop. Cooper. Jack D, get that chain off you and go throw it on Coop. The birthday boy himself, what? Samuel Coop. Cooper. Let's go. No better way to celebrate your birthday than get it an INT. <laughs> get him that chain. Get him that chain. Maybe the Palatine quarterback was given Cooper birthday present. He said, Happy birthday. Here's one. Yick. Let's see what the main south office can do here. Coin's gonna hand it off to DeLumo. DeLumo gonna get a couple yards. Let's call it about five. <clears throat> Second and six at the Palatine 47. Clock will continue to wind down. We're at five minutes now. Quarterback keeper for Coins, gonna get a first down. Way to go. As the clock will not start till the ref says. <clears throat> The theme is going to be ground and pound, and then they're going to pass. It is common sense. You know, I will say, and I know we've been saying no mistakes, no mistakes. I will say I made a mistake earlier when I was talking about Will Met. I uh, I forgot to mention Ava Birch, who was uh, who was also a Maine South Hawk. Incredible to work with her, uh, and Ali Biagi, an alum. She's at the University of Wisconsin Madison, uh, studying business right now. Uh, great, great people to work with. Um, so I just want to make that. Clear my, clear my ledger there and uh, and cover that up. Another run for Delulo. He's off to the oh. was going to get a first down. He was almost off to the races. But that's a first down for the Hawks. Time is tick, 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 ticking away. Second and short, actually. My bad. Second one. That's good for time reasons. Don't be so surprised if you see number 88, Julian Turner, make a play here. Soon. Another run. First down for the Hawks. There we go. This is the position you want to be in. 
This is the, the prime position. Again, we said that Palatine, we thought that Palatine was going to be the hardest game. I said that Palatine would be the hardest game of the regular season. I will stand by that. 28-21, three minutes remaining. First and 10 at their 28. This is where you want to be. Um, this is the place you want to be. I said it earlier in the broadcast. But one of two things you should be doing on this Friday night. One, being at this game. Two, watching the stream. Exactly. We said we bring Wilson Field to your family room. Something, you know. Quarterback keeper for Coins. Coins is going to keep it. He's going to try to push oh. himself through. He's going to get through. Going to be short of another first down. Time is tick, 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 ticking away. Another rush. DeLumo trying to find the hole. Isn't going to be able to find it. It's going to be. Timeout taken by the Palatine Pirates. Not enough time to take a knee. No. Not enough time. However, we're getting close. Yeah. We're getting close. I, you know, this is what I, I'd like to call Palatine's last dance. Third and one at the 20. Uh, Hawks have the momentum. Indeed. You bring up a great, fa great fact about the last dance. Jimmy, this is our last dance. This is our last season. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're going to send it down very quickly to the field for another interview. This will be our last interview of the evening. Let's make it a good one. We'll send it down. All right, hey, everyone. We're here with Chris and Maris. So it's the fourth quarter. We have about five or four, four minutes. Actually, we're really close to finishing. What do you think is going to happen next? Oh, uh, Maine South is winning all the way, baby. I feel it. I agree with that. I think we're taking it home, baby. That's all I got to say. Any words of encouragement for our team? Go Hawks! Go Hawks! Hey, I'm going to do my hop call. Ow! Ow! <laughs> all right, all right. Now, for a little fun question. If you were stranded on a desert with three of our football players, who would they be? Um, I'd have to say Zach Stoilov, um, Marty Kulherty, and Michael Gushkov. All right, and then I'm assuming you'd be oh. the same, maybe. Uh, about I'd go with I'd go with my 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 guy Eli Malouf, my guy Aleko Slagis, and the guy behind the back, Jack Vadim. All right, thank you guys. Back to you. Thank All you. Right. Good, good, good question. That's a fair question. <laughs> Hawks are gonna get a first down. Buck 38 left on the clock. Uh, another timeout. Take it. Another timeout. Another interesting. Palatine. Interesting. Pirates. They're gonna take a knee. Oh, I am so no. sorry. I am so sorry. I, here's a mistake. I saw people clapping and I looked up and I saw people running off the field. So, <laughs> even though, yeah. I mean, you gotta imagine the amount of intensity, Coach Corey. But you got to imagine the intensity Coach Corey Olsen's bringing to that huddle. I would assume he's just telling his players, guys, we got to go, yeah. you know. Again, bash, just bash your heads. What, I mean, they got nothing. Right. What happened, I believe it was against Montini. I've watched the video multiple times. <laughs> the miracle on greatest Wilson game. Field. The greatest game ever played on this field. Uh, we don't want it to happen tonight, but if that was the speech that <laughs> our side was giving, that would be the one. So good stuff. First and 10 for the Maine South Hawks. Coins looking to throw. Coins, oh! Whoa! Wow. That was terrible. You know, I want to give a quick shout out. Uh, a quick shout out, because I know he's watching right now, to Sam Bartell from last year's team. Yeah. Sam Bartell, outstanding football player, also great on the wrestling mat. Those who didn't know, I know people don't usually go to the wrestling meets. They're actually crazy, they're fun to watch. Uh, a shout out to him. 
uh, best of luck in college. Uh, but it's great to see that alums are, uh, are watching the game yeah. from their college. San Martel's a yeah. beast. Another beast, Anthony DeVito. Another beast, Tommy Perillo. Shout uh, out to those two. That's a good lineup right there. Yeah. Wow, that's a good lineup. Give me those two in any battle. I, they're winning. And I'd assume Main South is going to take another knee. One thing I will say, nobody from the Main South student section has left. No. No one has left. They want to celebrate here. with the they team. They will watch the zeros. Clock winding down. Let's do another one. We got the time. Shout out to Liam Doyle at the University of Iowa right now. He's watching the game. Another alum. Another alum. Great, uh, great football player as well. St. Paul alum. So. There's the knee. Hooks win. Hooks win. 28 to 1. This was the game that they've talked about. They showed up. They played. What a way to do it. What a way to impress in front of a sold out crowd. Statement win. First win at home First this win season. Home. Wow. What a way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here tonight. We hope we did you, uh, did you justice. We brought Wilson Field to your living room, to your family room, wherever you may be watching, to your dorm at college. We hope we did it to you. <laughs> we will be back for the next game. Huh? It won't be for a little bit. I'm almost positive it's homecoming. However, we will be we back will be then. There. We will be there. We look forward to it. We will see you then. Until then, go Hawks, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, have a great night.